Move to the story on Connecticut. I want to play you two sound bites. This is the story about Dick Blumenthal, the state attorney general, uh, the New York Times, making an allegation that he has been misrepresenting his military service. They have up, we're going to play you two clips one where he talks about serving in Vietnam, and one where he makes uh, a caveat about his time in the military. Take a listen. We have learned something very important since the days that I served in Vietnam, and you exemplify it. Whatever we think about the war, Serving in the United States military gave me a perspective as well, even in the reserves, although I did not serve in Vietnam. Now, on a few occasions, I have misspoken about my service. About me. If he says he has full responsibility, but do you think you owe people an apology for having misspoken? No. I no. 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 I regret that I misspoke. And I take full responsibility. Is that the same thing as no. I no. no. I no. 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 The man's of AIG executives from some state attorneys um, or state attorney generals reminds me of an extortion attempt. So why do they get away with it? Connecticut Attorney General Richard Blumenthal is with us now. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, are you going to demand that Chris Dodd returns this money? Well, Chris Dodd is returning the money on his own. I think he probably regrets having taken it. Right. But, you know, but if he didn't, would you here, demand it? Is, if he didn't? I mean, I he's... would ask him to do it. I think it's appropriate that he do it. Right. But what? the other question is, why did Congress approve all of these bonuses, which the entire Congress did, not just one senator? Sure. And why did the Federal Reserve mm. enable you, it to go forward? Asking, why you, isn't it taking action? Are you going after Chris Dodd for writing that in? I have asked that the Federal Reserve block these bonuses, which I think no, it no, has the no, power to do. No, I'm asking you about Congress. I'm asking you about Chris Dodd, because he lives in the great state of Connecticut. Are you going after him? We don't have the power to investigate, nor does any attorney general a federal official. Well, no, but he's, so a, he's, he's a resident in your state. That would be an issue for the Congress. Wait a minute. He's, he's a resident in your state. He is a resident of the state, but he is a federal official, oh. and no attorney so general it, if, so has because the jurisdiction. It's in, because it's in Washington, you can't do anything about it. Kind of like if there's an AIG contract in New York, you really don't have any well, place. Well, the, the AIG bonuses were paid in Connecticut. From and that's a why contract we that's have honored in New York. That they be okay. repaid. Well, um, you know, the one thing I was going through um, the interviews with you, and I, 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 nobody's asked this question, and I'm just dying to know, and I know you'll have the answer. What law did the AIG executives break when they took those bonuses that were mandated by a, a legal contract? The AIG executives did not themselves break a contract. So then why were you going but, after them? Well, we're not going after no, them. You were. we're going after the bonuses. Yeah, well, the, no, it's we, their bonuses. We're never going they were, after the... No, no. It, it, their bonuses, sir. They are their bonuses. They earned that money. What right, what law did they break that gave you the ability in Connecticut to go after those bonuses? Well, let's take it one step at a time. The money they received came from us, the mm -hmm. taxpayers. Oh, I, I know how this works. I'm asking you, sir, you're the attorney general. I'm asking you for the law that they broke that gave you the ability. Are you not the defender of the law in Connecticut? The law that they broke yes. is the law that requires that they serve the public interest, that bonuses what if law they is that? are paid. Wait, wait, what law is that, sir? What, you're, you're, the, you're the chief law enforcement officer. What law is, say that again, I don't, I don't recognize that law. It sounds like a good policy, it sounds like a good rule of thumb, but I'm not sure I recognize that law. Could you give that to me again? Well, you know, again, these funds belong to us, the taxpayers. No, no, sir. Why sir, we you be, are, look, you know why? what you've done? You know what you've done? You have, you are an insult to George Washington, sir. George Washington made it very clear that we are a respecter of laws, not of men. For your own political gain, you have decided to go after these people at AIG because it is a popular thing. And while I may agree with you that it is obscene, I would like to know, sir, not what's right as a rule of thumb, not what makes us feel good, 
you, sir, are to protect people and, and to uh, stand for the law in Connecticut. So again, I ask you, sir, what law gave you the right to go after them? What law did they break? Well, I think you're wrong in the basic premise. We're not going after any individual. We're you, asking the you, United you as States, the Attorney let General. Me finish. You have to let me finish if you want to know what law I'm talking about. We're asking the you, United States no law, of America, sir. our federal government, uh -huh. to ask that this money be returned or pursue it because they were undeserving of it. Now, I'm they not were enforcing undeserving a law of it? against them. They, did they were not undeserving of it. What right do you have bonuses, to say the people that worked were for one dollar a year, sir? To people without services being performed. Let and me ask the you this. law here relates to the Wage Protection Act of the state of Connecticut, which was used unjustifiably as a reason why. No, sir. The no, sir. bonuses they, would I not will be give you, so the I, law That is, is so a much bullcrap, and you know it, Connecticut, sir. No, uh, you not. know, yes, it is. That is a very good reason to say that well, they were wrong. Pardon, Excuse me, sir. You better let me finish. If I have to let you finish, you'll let me finish too, sir. Uh, unless you're going to come and threaten me, because I do live in your state. Are you going to investigate me? Are you going to come and break my door down? Are you going to come after me for anything that I've done because you disagree with me, or because it might be popular, or are you going to stand for the law, sir? May I finish? I don't think you've received any bonuses from the taxpayers of the if state. I did, of our if I did, and it were legal, would you have the right to come and, and tell me to return it? Would you feel it was right to n nothing to do with the law, just your bully pulpit to come out and say, oh, I have the right, this is an outrage. Sir, you are there to protect and defend people using the law, not a bully pulpit. Well, first of all, you know, to repeat for another time, we are asking the federal government to pursue these bonuses because they were paid with taxpayer money to people who very simply were not required to be paid those bonuses by any Connecticut statute. That's the statute that's important here is Connecticut law, the so-called Wage Protection Act, which protects wages, not bonuses. That's the basic legal that is such distinction that's important here. Now, you may say that that spin, it doesn't mean sir. anything to you. No, 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 sir. Well, that is, is I agree with you. Point, I agree with you and that, that the head of AIG the should not have used forth. that. But that does not okay you from going in. Let me ask you this. When, when they were taking buses and they were shipping people to the houses of these people in Connecticut, and they were having a circus and frightening children in those houses, why wouldn't you go and protect those people? Why wouldn't you go take the state police out there and shoo those people away? Why wouldn't you do that? Well, this, the police were there. And Did they we shoo have them been away? Assessing threats. Did they shoo We've them been, away? They was your. They made sure that the law was enforced. Our oh. local and state police. Good have for you. Were you involved in that? The See, you know what? It's well, really, it's really... I was not really... directly there. I didn't want to be at did, the physical site. I, did your, I office, was did made your aware. office, did your office intervene and say, let's make sure that we have state troopers? Did you pick up the phone or did you get on television and say, this is an outrage? There are children there and these people at Acorn and the unions should not be doing that. Did you do that? Well, I was in touch with the state police, our commissioner of public safety, with various law enforcement officials. I didn't think it was appropriate for me to be out there at the site or on television mm. directing what should be done. But let's come back to the bonuses. You know, yeah. Hang on just a second. I, I just want to say this. No, no, I just want to make sure that everybody in the audience understands. You didn't think it was appropriate to do it that time, but you did the other time. And I'm not suggesting that you should have sued, uh, uh, shooed those people away because they have a right to do that. And as long as they have a right under the law, then you shouldn't be involved just like the bonuses. Well, you know, you know, let's be clear on what's happening with the bonuses. These bonuses are actually increasing in amount. Going into next year, there'll be $230 oh my gosh. million is that, dollars is that against the law? Bonuses. Is that against the law? Well, is it that is against, against the law? public policy. And is, it is that against by law. the law? It should be against the law. Is it against the law? It's against the public policy. It is a yes or no question. The taxpayer. Counselor, it, it is a view, yes or no question. Is it against the law? By law. 
Yes it or no? It is not against the law, and I've not never said that it is against the law, and I've never said that we would. Then you know what you should do. Action. You should enforce the law. You shouldn't use your bully pulpit to gain popularity. Look, you're more popular than I'll ever be on this issue. This is not me having you on and doing this to you does not make me popular or a favorite. Everyone is on your side on this issue. But it is not your place to do anything other than enforce the law. Well, uh, if you, you and would and like I to change the law, point. then you can. You and I disagree because. Really? What is I your job? advocate changes in the law all the time. That advocate, is advocating example, changes, sir. Changes that is not trying to shame people to get, to get their bonuses back and twist the facts to make sure that people get their bonuses back. Well, and quite honestly... One of the points here is that the law has been misunderstood and distorted. And that has been one yeah, of the oh central yeah. points. And I thank oh you yes. for giving me this opportunity You're to welcome. explain that Connecticut's wage protection law has nothing to provides do with no requirement you mm -hmm. may say it has nothing to do it with it. It has nothing to do with it, sir. It you are twisting it. Because no, it has been everything used. to do with the excuse that AIG used to say we had to do that. And you're exactly right. right. It has nothing to do with that. But that has nothing to do with the little vampire fangs that you all of a sudden sprouted and tried to grab onto to make yourself, you and Andrew Cuomo, tried to make yourself the king of the world. And look at me. I'm, I'm the savior here. I'm going to help everybody, the little people. All you're doing is trying to make yourself look good in a populist move. I think it's wrong. Well, I think you know, we're not we a respecter may talk about of motives. Men. The question is whether these bonuses okay. were good public policy and whether they were required by law. And that has the nothing to, to do with it. The first is no, and the answer to the second is no. Okay. And it has everything to do with whether they should have been done and what we should do now mm -hmm. in blocking those future $230 million in bonuses and what we should do in exercising stronger oversight over the $173 billion that isn't this that has a federal? AIG. Isn't that federal? Why would you be concerned with that? You can't do anything with Chris Dodd because that's federal. Why are you involved in this? Well, you know what? Why don't you worry you about the 150 take zone of silence? Why don't you figure out, you know, the uh, no high fiving at schools in Connecticut? Why don't you work on some of the things there? Because you can't do anything. You told me before on federal. Well, I can't do anything directly in terms of prosecuting. But I can advocate oh. like every citizen, like you are doing That's very right. effectively That's right, right now. Okay, thank you very much. I hope, I hope there's no investigations or any kind of ramifications for, for challenging a public official. I'll make sure to let you know if there is. Back in a second. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.